Yo, what up, YouTube? Now it's just the print. I'm back again with another quality tutorial, and here at Let's Do Music Right, this video is going to be very easy, easy, because I just came with one of the tricks that producers are using out there to steal the melodies. They are also using this trick uh, to steal the chords uh, from from samples. So this is a song by Justin Bieber and Chance the Rapper. Holy, I know that. A lot of people know it. I just chose this randomly because it's one of my favorite. Now I'm going to show you a trick of how I can steal the chords that we played from this song and make changes to them. So this is going to be a very, very simple trick. So just make sure that you stick around up until the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe. Now let's get into it. Uh, the first thing that you want to do is to load up your, uh, your sample and you make sure you want to make sure that you have it. Um, well aligned as well as uh, on a well tempo of the song because you don't want to mess up everything so when you have something like that what you do you have to left click and then you root this uh, sample to the mixer and then unfortunately I won't be able to play this sample for you because I'm afraid that um, YouTube can flag this song so I'm just gonna play it maybe for 10 seconds just so you can hear the sample stop like that i just wanted to you to hear what i'm dealing with though now the first thing that you want to do when you reach the mixer you want to load up a uh, melodyne we are going to be using melodyne to do the trick that i'm about to show you you load up melodyne and then when melodyne opens it's going to show you something like this and then you just press close there and then what you want to do you want to press transfer and then you make sure that you go back to your fl studio and you press play and then you just wait and then melodyne is going to read uh, the sample and then it's gonna give you everything that you need this is a simple trick uh, make sure that you subscribe and then from there when it's done you just press uh, stop and then you wait for it and then it's gonna see something like polyphonic detection and then it's gonna just do its own things and then from there uh, we are ready to go and then you're going to have something like this and if you don't have something like this make sure that you go to algorithm and then you go to a polyphonic sustain now what you want to do is you want to go to settings and then you say save midi file so in this case we are going to save the midi of of this and then now we are just going to save it as holy which is the name of the song and then you press save and then from there you can just close melody and you can even just remove it from your mixer and then you can also switch off uh, the the sample from the mix and then what you can do is yeah you can add a pattern so that you can be able to load our plugin but for this case we are only going to use a very simple uh fl keys just to make this very clear and easy and then what you want to do is go to piano roll and then when you are in the piano roll you want to go to this arrow and then you press file and then you go to import midi file and then from there you are going to navigate in your computer to find where you have saved your midi file and then in my case it was holy and i'm just gonna press open and then I'm just going to wait and then it's going to show me something like this. It's very important that you bring everything back so that you can uh, the melody uh, or the whatever you're copying or the chords, they can just start exactly at the first. And then another thing to do, you can go to these um, tools and then you can go there and then you press uh, quick quantize start times and then you just press it. And then from there, now uh, you have to uh, pick some of the things so that you can just sound exactly as the original sample now i'm just going to do that and then it's going to be very easy what i will do is i will move the sample but let me play the sample first so that you can hear what i have after i did what i did this is what i have you can hear that everything is just messy here so we're just going to make some little changes so what you do is you're going to uh, deal with some of the uh, key uh, notes here individually so that you can pack them accordingly so we're going to do this uh, i had a lot of chords playing there meaning that uh, you are going to be dealing with chords so therefore making something like this will be very important and then you just make to do something like this now we're going to listen to the first part and then to hear if we are on the right track and i'm just going to press play yes i can agree that the first part is very accurate and then i'm just going to move this f key and then here there are too many keys i'm just going to remove some of them and then we're going to extend this like this and then i believe this is one note which is f3 i'm just i believe we can do something like this and then make sure that we use this tool to delete some of the unwanted uh 
unwanted things there. And then let's play in here from the beginning. You can hear that it's coming to well, but you can hear that this if this the frequency of this is too high, therefore we're going to reduce the frequency a bit so that we can just sound even with these other ones. And then as you can see, you can see that this A is is uh there are two things, so we can just delete one and then make sure that we align everything and then we're dealing with cores. We need to make them very clean. We're going to cut some of the things. And then we're going to do something like this. And as I see, I believe this D, we can put it here and then we can extend it towards the end so that we can just make it longer. And then I think we can also make this longer and then we can just cut this and here what we have. So far we are very accurate, uh, but there's still more to do. As you can see on the other side, we have that thing. So we are going to do the same things on the other side. And then we're going to do the same things on the other side. We're dealing with calls. We are going to do something like this and then make sure that uh, they end at the same time. Sometimes it's, it's good to have uh, calls that are not ending at the same time just to have the variations in the code. But in this case, I'm just going to make sure that everything is well aligned. And I believe here we can just keep one note, which is G. And then I don't know about this F, but we can try to move it this side to see if it's going to sound well. And then we're going to cut uh, the end here. And then we're going to select them all. And then we move them a bit here to here if everything's going well. I hear that there's a note that does not belong here. I don't know which one is it, but we're just going to switch this off first. I believe these two nodes doesn't belong here, so we can just delete them to make our sample very clean. Now we are going to deal with the last part. And then we're going to deal with the last pass. We are going to do the same thing. We're going to take this one here and then we extend. I believe we can delete this one and then move this one a bit this side. And then we're going to use this, uh, they call it slice. And then we're going to slice the ends so that we can delete them and have a well aligned nodes and then we're gonna do it even here and then we can see that we are on the last uh, chord we can do something like this i believe you can keep d3 you can take it from here do something like this and then make sure that we use slice to cut the ends and then yes now let's listen to our sample to hear if there are any changes that we can make What I'm hearing is that there are some notes that are too loud and then we just have to deal with them. I just have to deal with them to make sure that they are well aligned with other notes. So we're going to cut this. Do something like that. And then something like this. Yes. And then you can also change the piano. You know that uh, the different piano can sound different. So I'm just going to use Citrus for this purpose. And I'm just going to change it. Uh, maybe use uh, one of the pianos here just to hear if it's going to bring up some good vibe. And then play. Yes, this was it for this video. I just wanted to show you a simple trick that producers are using to steal metal this out there. And then I was going to see you in the coming video. Peace.